you might want to hold out for someone a little more stable. How'd you get him to do that? I asked. Very clever. He was surprisingly eager. Eager is a good thing. Uh-huh. You're staring. Uh-huh. No, I'm not. <laughs> Supervising. I see what you're supervising. It's like an apple. You could bounce a quarter off that apple. Apples are good for you. Hi. Sure is hot. Sure is. You want something to drink? I have bottled water. Bottled would be great. I'll get it. You stay and continue the mating ritual. So when do I get to come over and watch TV? Oh, I don't know. I just have the one TV and it's very small. Well, that's okay. You can sit close. Heads up. We can sit close. So close. So close. Mm -hmm. Your man sweat is like honey mustard glaze on my tongue. Mm -hmm. Inappropriate touching. This isn't fun for anybody. Stop it. You stop it. I haven't started anything. That's what I'm talking about. You should stop with the not starting and start something already. He's married to a philandering strumpet. Those sorts of marriages get annulled. I can't be in a relationship right now. I have issues. Who doesn't? I'm going through a me phase. Going through? Leave me alone. Why can't I just be celibate? Um, because you like boys? And this boy is ready for your jelly. Look at him. He's smitten. Oh. Smitten and eager are bad. Now you know what you get with smitten and eager. Romance. Relentless, treacly manufactured romance. That kind of romance never ends well. Starts. That's what girl needs, okay? Girl needs. Coffee! Girl needs 
Sue. girl might actually find time to have a boy if you'd ever shut up. Donut. Girl needs a donut. Finally something sensible. to see you. Where? Yeah, I brought you donuts. Those donuts? Mm -hmm. She was starving. So you were bringing me, and then she's here, and now they're all... And she is... Your name's Katya, from Russia. Mm -hmm. I was passing by, and a little voice told me I should probably stop and check on it. Voice? There was a voice? Yeah, you know that little voice inside. Oh, right. A little voice inside. She looked like she needed help. Interesting. I guess she's been here all night. She slept at the fountain? Fountain of love. I meet my Peter. I'm Mary. But he no come. Peter got a phone number? No, no phone. But he make me letter. These are all email printouts. No last name, no physical address. I think she's one of those Russian mail order brides. You know, sex slave. No sex slave. I come in for love and some sex, but no slave. This is so sad. Still hunger. <laughs> and another order of buffalo wings. Tastes like chicken, yes? Yeah. Funny, right? Never break this spell I'm under. Every thought of you is wonder. I think I just threw up a little in my mouth. I don't know. I think it's kind of sweet. Anyway, we're supposed to be looking for clues, not critiquing the love lorn. Okay, but I gotta ask. I mean, I sort of get why you give her my donuts, and even springing for the all-you-can-eat wings. But even if we do find this guy, there's gotta be a reason he ditched her. Why would you want to get involved in something so potentially messy and complicated if you don't have to? Because she makes me sad. Are you attracted to her? If I were attracted to her, I wouldn't be trying to find the guy she's in love with, would I? Oh, good answer. Is this because of Heidi? Heidi? Yeah, your wife. I know who Heidi is. Why would it have anything to do with Heidi? It would explain why you're so big with the empathy. Hell, you only had to drive in from New Jersey to be betrayed and dumped on your honeymoon. That poor woman came all the way from Asia Minor and never even got to have the wedding. I am over Heidi. But I have been in love, if that's what you mean. Well, yeah. Who hasn't? Have you? Have I what? Been in love. <sighs> yeah. Sure. I think so. You think so? I've had boyfriends. What? Yeah, but you've never been in love. You don't know that. It would explain why these letters make you cringe. It's like a language you haven't yet learned. Actually, I think it's a language the author hasn't yet learned. He seems to think nuptial rhymes with cupful. Well, when it happens to you, when you finally open yourself up to it, you'll just know it in your bones. What do you mean, open myself up to it? You are a little closed off. I'm not closed off. A little bit. I thought maybe it was because you'd been hurt. But since you've never been in love... I've been hurt. Okay. And I'm not closed off. I'm open. Open for business. I'm just not actively... active right now because my life is so full. Solve the mystery, or should I have Pedro slaughter some more chickens? We're still working on it. You better work quick. You do know this girl's supposed to get married at six at the Fountain of Love. That's where we found her. She thinks people get married at the fountain. The Fountain of Love is a chapel down on Rainbow Boulevard. Oh, that Fountain of Love. Can you believe this place? No, it's too beautiful. Hi, we're here about a wedding. Of course you are. Katya here. Is 
she's, you know, the one who's... Katya's the bride, and we're wondering if the groom has arrived. He's named Peter. Peter got a last name? They're on a first name basis. Six o'clock. What have you got on the books for six o'clock? Six o'clock canceled. Cancel? No cancel. Yes, cancel. A stop payment was put on the credit card charges last night. Cancel. Get an address and phone number of the cardholder. Our privacy policy is very strict. How about just the last name? Come on, she's his fiance. Well, then she should have his contact information. And if she doesn't, well, it's probably for his own safety. How bad do you think I'd feel if I gave you his address and you went over there and killed someone? 